Hello, Yakri here with the new Warframe update, Shrine of the Eidolon. Eidolon? Eidolon. Um, and I wanted to talk about uh, one of our favorite Warframes, Ember. Because a lot of people seem to think that she's been severely nerfed, not good anymore, at her one thing that she's actually good at, which is trolling through low-level missions, destroying everything. Here's the thing. It's not really true. Uh, I don't really think that the patch did what DE said they wanted it to do at all. I'm not sure why they would have thought it would either, right? Because, okay, so you don't really need to run uh, Ember with max range, right? So I've got her set up right here with 235% uh, range, 115% power strength. Power strength is a bit low, um, but, you know, sure, why not? I typically run her with between 145 and 190% range. Now, that is when even I'm just dashing through low to mid-level missions and want everything to just die around me as I walk past. And that'll do it. You don't need 235% range. Now by having her range, they've effectively made her slightly less long range, only a little bit, because you don't need all this range. But now you can pile it on and you'll end up with uh, maybe even better power strength due to like how these mods like round out then you'd be able to manage if you did actually build her for a uh, low power range and power strength before. So she's probably about the same range, effectively, and about the same power strength as before in practical terms, right? Because you don't need all that range to do exactly what uh, DE was complaining that Ember does in low-level missions, right? Which is just kills everything before the rest of your squad can get there, makes it hard for people to keep up or even, like, see enemies in low-level missions. And I think that's exactly what is still going to happen, right? So we've got her range at half right now, right? I'm hoping this is actually showing the correct range on my ultimate. It's as uh, 35 meters. Actually, there's a good way to check that. Hold on. There we go. Let's see. So base range on my ultimate is 35 meters. Okay, so it's actually half of that. It's half of that, um, which is still pretty good. So once we let this scale up again here, we're gonna go out and just walk past these enemies and see how close we really have to get. And the thing is that um, this this may have like somewhat of an impact in really open low level missions. Like if you wanted to micromanage it enough that you uh, actually change your uh, play style and your modding, depending on whether you're on like Earth or a Grenier tile set uh, ship map, right? Then this maybe actually does affect you a little bit. But yeah, we just get over here and okay, they all die. All right, I'm just kind of walk past them. Let's just go over here. Uh, all those guys are all dead. All right, these guys are all dead. I really, I don't think it makes a big difference at all or almost any perceptible difference in the way she plays. I think. Um, it burns more energy for her, right? For sure. Uh, but it's still, let's, let's put this back up again. As you'll see it scale up, like, you notice I've, I've already recast. I haven't picked up more, any more energy globes, orbs. Um, I still have plenty of energy left. Uh, and if we wait a bit here, all right, we see it ticking down. That looks like it's going about two per second, right? But, uh, you know, 500 at 2 per second, that's going to be uh, 250 seconds. That is several minutes before your ultimate's going to run out of just chilling. If you're actually picking up energy orbs, if you actually take a weapon with the energy proc, right, uh, a syndicate weapon, uh, you are going to have no problems uh, staying at high energy. Effectively, they've maybe given her a slight damage boost. Um, maybe. I haven't actually done the math. I'd have to work it out and compare it to one of my other builds. I think you maybe gained 10 or 20% power strength on your ultimate for basically no real loss. Uh, it's somewhat of a loss in the sense that um, you couldn't do this super long range build if you wanted to, right? Um, and I think the one big disadvantage with that is you can't do world uh, fire quake with your ultimate and set it to a super long range build to distract enemies in high level missions. I think it does somewhat hurt her survivability in high level missions. Not a huge amount, but it does. And uh, that's that means her she's gonna be a little less viable overall, I think, versus level like 80 or level 100 enemies because doubling the damage on her ultimate, which since apparently doesn't show up in here, that's what, 460 damage per tick. I was getting a thousand on those guys with some armor reducing it, of course. So getting around a thousand damage, or probably like 1200 or 1300, that's that's really insignificant versus uh, enemies of any significant level. I don't think she's going to deal meaningful damage against high level enemies. Um, with Accelerant, uh, how much of a boost is that again? 
uh, 2.88 damage multiplier, she'll do okay up to fairly high levels, but she's still going to struggle at Sword E3. She's still going to die too easily. She's still not going to hurt enemies, like deal significant damage to enemies, at least compared to other Warframes you could bring, like Mag, for example, or of course Equinox, or any of the other big heavy hitters. And now, like, <laughs> Chroma got, recently got a big change too, right? Making him far more useful for a team. Uh, and uh, that's going to be... I don't know. It's kind of hard to beat almost any frame in the game in terms of bringing someone for damage to a high-end mission, and that's what Ember is for, is dealing damage. So I think she needs to be better at dealing damage. Uh, yeah, that, that, that pretty much sums that up. Other than that, let's just test out this uh, fireball charge up. Seems nice. All right. You know, I'm not sure I can complain about that too much. It's kind of cool. I like that they added that, the added effect to, uh, fuck, which, is, which ability is it? The oh, 1,000 damage? This thing, yeah, if you shoot through it now, I don't know how high up you can actually shoot through it. It's supposed to add fire damage to your attacks. That's cool. I mean, if you combine that with accelerant, that's a much more meaningful change than anything else that happened, right? 50% bonus fire damage on your attack with accelerant, especially if it, if it doesn't uh, merge with damage types on, on weapons. Uh, I think they, they have the ability to have it be added on. They, that happens for certain abilities. But um, if they've done it that way, then it's probably quite good. Um, although I'm still not convinced it's like, I'm not convinced she's very viable, but we'll have to see in the future in that. She definitely got buffed by this patch. There are hordes of people screaming that she was nerfed. She was not nerfed. There's, there's no, like, meaningful way you can say that she was nerfed. Just because the, uh, the a buff to this ability is really good, and the buff to the fireball is, like, marginally useful. Uh, and, eh, the ultimate wasn't really changed in any significant way, in my opinion. Um other than the elimination of that long range play style. And now you could, you could ditch overextend and have her ult be very short range. Let's actually test that out since this is supposed to be a testing video and stream. So I'm streaming right now as well, though uh, I'm the only one watching. But um, yeah, let's test out, let's just ditch overextend. I'll just throw some fucking redirection on here, be a little bit more survivable. Drop me down to uh, 445% range, and let's see let's see what kind of damage we can get. We're gonna crank these enemies up. These are just level 30 enemies to demonstrate their the exact like I think the exact phrasing in their um, patch notes was that you know Ember is like the king of level 30 missions. They wanted to change that, which I think they did absolutely nothing to change that. But with these uh, patch notes, I'm not sure why they would even have believed that they would. Like I'm hard pressed to believe that that was like actually what the design that the designers actually thought this would make like a serious impact on that. Um, maybe, maybe some of the person writing the patch notes did and it wasn't, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. I'm not sure how you can actually expect that to happen. So now this will actually be quite short ranged. Um, hmm, yeah, doesn't kill them too quickly, but actually pretty decent damage on at least, you know, these are butchers. Butchers are one of the weaker enemy types, right? So, all right. I don't know. You know, I take it back. Maybe, uh, I'm gonna have to test this out in an actual sortie, I think. But, uh, I think maybe this is viable in high-level missions without compromising her, uh, viability in low-level missions. So, maybe it's more of a buff than I thought it was, in, if anything. Um... Yeah, so she might be quite good now. Um, she was good in low-level missions before, of course, uh, and she still will be. You'll just have to alternate between uh, kind of a close-range build like this, where the big problem will be that you'll be killed far too easily, and uh, a long-range build like that for just lulzing through low-level missions. I think if DE wants um, Ember to not, I think what was phrasing, like, uh, uh, melt all the enemies before anyone else in her squad gets to see them at low-level missions, they need to make her ultimate a different ability. They need to delete World on Fire and implement something else from scratch um i don't know if that is going to be very popular among all ember players i wouldn't mind honestly because her ult isn't that cool other than the like special effects wise uh i kind of like the plumes of fire but you know other than that it's not it's kind of boring um and if they replaced it completely with something that works in a different way that is how they could solve this issue uh and i don't see any other way they could realistically because um you know this this hasn't done it i don't think uh, I'm not sure how anyone would expect it to have fixed the issue. Um, so, yeah, all right. Ember's pretty good now. I'm fairly happy with her changes overall. Um, yeah, we're going to move on to other things, but this is the end of this video part.